Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Nitrix, a Linux distribution on VirtualBox in Windows 11. So for someone who don't know, um, Nitrix is a Linux distribution based on Debian with additional packages pulled in from Ubuntu. And the environment of the um, Nitrix Linux is um, an X desktop, which is basically a KDE Plasma desktop enhanced to create a special bond of aesthetics and functionality. So to install the um, Nitrix Linux on the VirtualBox, first of all, we need to go to the Nitrix um, its official website. Uh, I'll give this link on the description box and you can get it from there. Just uh, go there and you can choose the option to download it. And you just need to download this uh, ISO file of the Nitrix Linux. So just click on it and your download will be started. So after downloading the Nitrix Linux, um, you need to download the VirtualBox application. So for that, just go to VirtualBox website. Um, here we go. I'll give this link on the description box so you can get it from there. So you need to download the VirtualBox platform package. So we are going to install the VirtualBox in my Windows 11. So our worst is Windows, so I'm going to download this. So after the VirtualBox is downloaded, you just need to run that file. Run it as the administrator. Just click on next. So you will see this welcome screen. Um, make sure that you choose this option and you'll find this uh, bunch of options here. Uh, like input export new and add so to create a new distribution in your virtual box just click on new and type nitrix sorry and now you need to choose the asset file which you have downloaded so just choose the asset file uh, here it is and choose the type as linux and click on the version and choose it at the other Linux. And just click on next. Now you need to allocate the um, VISC memory sites for your Nitrix um, distribution. So you can choose up to the half of this green mark. I'm just going to drag it down here. Um, Make sure that you choose inside the uh, green mark to be on the safer side. So I got 32 gigs of RAM in my um, system. So I'm going to allocate the nine ZVs. Um, if you got the less memory in your system, then you can allocate up to two to three. Uh, it will work fine. So you need to allocate the processor as well. So choose um, inside the green mark to be on the safer side. I'm going to allocate three for now and just click on next. And now you need to create a virtual hard drive for your Nitrix system. So 25 gigs will do fine for me. So you can allocate more if you want more than. So just click on next. And here we go. We are done. So now after this, um, make sure to click on settings. And you can go to this advanced option and set this as a bidirectional. So choosing this, it will enable you to copy and paste the file between the host system and the Nitrix distribution. So in my case, my host system is uh, Windows 11 and I'm going to uh, um, install the Nitrix OS on my virtual box. So I can drag and drop the files and folder between my host system and the Nitrix distribution. And now click on system. And these are basically the uh, same thing which we choose initially. Choose on display and you can increase the video memory. Um, yeah, 50, 50 megabytes will do fine. Make sure to choose uh, between the green mark to be on the safer side and storage. Uh, this is the ISO file which we inserted and this is the hard drive of um, 25 gigs which we created. And network, no need to choose anything here. Everything will do fine. 
so just click on now okay so we are all done and we need to start the system now so choose the first option just hit and enter so it may take a while to load so you can just sit back relax and enjoy your coffee so this is how Nitrux Linux uh, looks like so to install Nitrux just click on this install Nitrux option now you'll see this bunch of things here you can change the language um, what you want and you can read it about the Nitrux Linux here and just click on next now you need to choose your location your region so I'm from Asia and now you need to select your country for the time zone so and just click on next uh, you need to leave this as it is um, the Nitrux installer will automatically detect your uh, keyboard model and just click on next yeah you need to type your um, phone name your PC name and you need to choose a password for your Nitrux distribution. Make sure to uh, choose the valid password. You can read this uh, here. So you will see these two options here. The first option is to erase, erase the old leaks, uh, all virtual leaks which you have created initially. And the second option is the manual partitioning. You can create your own partition and you can install um, Nitrux distribution on it. So for now, I'm going to choose the manual partitioning just click on next so this is what it looks um, you'll see this unpartitioned space now we need to create a partition to install a Nitrix distribution so choose on the new partition table and choose it as the um, master bootloader MBR so here we go you can see this free space now you need to choose on this free space and click on create and you can choose this uh, holy space I'm not going to create a different partition I'm going to create a single partition and set it as the um, uh, home or the root directory so for that um, you, need to, you need to leave everything as it is and just choose this uh, forward slash as the mount point and things are done here so everything is done you just need to click on ok so here we go new partition is created uh, which mount point is forward slash which means the home root directory whatever um, you want to say and now just click on next and click on ok and choose the option to install so now it will format the partition which we have created and install the everything that a Nitrux system has in that partition and it will take a while you can just sit back and relax uh, with a coffee so after the installation is done just choose the option done and now the system will restart So if it shows the same screen to install the Nitrux distribution, then what you need to do is just close the um, Nitrux distribution. And you need to go to the settings. And in the settings, you'll find the option, the storage. And you just need to deactivate this ISO file. Um, and just choose this ISO file and click on this remove attachment so here we go this is done and just click on ok now you need to start this um, Nitrux distribution now you need to type your username and password which you have uh, set during installation So here we go. Uh, this is the uh, Linux distribution called Nitrux. So you can find a bunch of applications here. So to view this um, Nitrux system on the full screen, you just need to select the devices 
and choose the option uh, to insert the guest edition CD image. So if if it shows this error message, then you just need to close this um, Nitrox distribution, and you need to add to us the settings. And in the settings, you need to go to the storage. You need to choose this option uh, to add optical drive. So in the optical drive, you can find this virtual box guest edition that ISO file. So just choose that. So here we go. The guest edition is successfully inserted. Click on OK. And now you need to start the Nitrox distribution again. Select this first option to start the Nitrox GNU Linux. So after opening this, choose the option to insert the guest addition CD image. And you need to choose the file manager. And you will see this removable disk, which is VBOX um, guest addition image. Choose uh, it to mount. Again, click on this and you can see this here. We need to run this uh, VVox Linux edition that run. So to run this, you need to open in the terminal. So choose to open the terminal here. So now choose Alice to be whatever it is here in this folder. So we need to run this. So you just need to copy, um, copy its name. And we need to run a command. So type sudo assets space dot and slash and paste whatever you have copied so for that just choose paste and here we go type your password so it may take a while so you can just wait until that so here we go the virtual box case addition is working and you can Increase its size, whatever you want, the resolution will be working. So here we go. And you can choose the option to <clears throat> view it as the full screen. So here we go. It is working um, successfully. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll make such video if you like, share and subscribe my channel.